Seymour! So we have Christina's portion of the pie crust and she is gonna make a sweet pie. Everyone rolls out their pie crust a little differently, I feel yes. like. I did it kind of like restaurant nerd style. Like Even though I was saying grandma. Out. It's like precision. <laughs> what is this cup full of? It's rice flour. Rice right, and flour. Just a okay. little on the pin so it doesn't stick either. I like to use my offset to do that because okay. I can feel when it's getting sticky. See, we know that we're gonna make this size pie. This yes. is our tin. Let's cut out a circle that's maybe three quarters of an inch bigger. And you can use whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I was always taught to like fold it over into like quadrants, and then you can also sort of make sure you don't have too much flour. This is really friendly pie dough. <laughs> See? Pie you guys are going gluten free and loving it. There you go. <laughs> we're just gonna put this center in here. Okay. And then we'll unfold it. Oh, like a pretty dress. Yeah. This pie crust drapes really well. I use my fingers to pinch the crust. That's yeah. how like my grandmother taught me how to do it. You're pinching this finger with this thumb. Okay. And you're depending on the ledge of this pie crust to hold this little ruffle. Right. Really applying any it's pressure. Like oh, it's so pretty. We're gonna blind bake this pie. What is blind baking it mean? Blind baking means we're gonna bake the pie crust with nothing else in it. So a standard pie crust will rise a little bit. Line your pie with some parchment paper. So we're gonna put rice in this dry rice to weight it down. What temperature do you usually bake your pies at? Um, you can go up to 350. How long do you usually bake it for? Let's go 15 minutes and yeah. check it. So we ended up baking this for about 20 minutes. The crust got brown before the center got brown, so we pulled the little shell of rice out. When it comes out of the oven, putting it in the fridge or the freezer to cool it down. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna fill it with? So, one of my favorite flavor combinations all year round is blueberry and corn. This is sort of like a corn cream that I made. How do you make corn cream? Just to use freeze-dried corn. I love using it. It comes as like little freeze-dried corn kernels, but we just grind it down into a powder. We use this to make corn cookies. We use it oh. in cereal milk. We use it for a lot of different things. Interesting. I'm gonna eat it too. <laughs> no, it's so sweet. Yeah. This um, corn cream is freeze dried corn, silken tofu, some sugar, and some salt just to taste. Okay. So you get like your idealized version of a creamy corn. Have you ever tried it with something besides tofu? I feel or? like a dairy free yogurt or okay. a dairy free sour cream would be awesome. It tastes like the best creamy corn you've ever had. Yeah. We're gonna layer it with blueberries next. Okay. It's gonna look like a blueberry pie, but it's gonna have this really great creamy surprise. Oh. Um, and you can spread it with anything, just cause. Oh. What I like to put on top is basically a blueberry pie filling, but rather than bake it in the shell, I put it on the stove. Totally. I just like the berries and a little bit totally. of agave, salt, lemon juice. Exactly, that's it. That's it. Yeah. And the, this is all of those ingredients put in a pot on the stove at like a medium low heat for about eight to 10 minutes. So that just goes on top. It's that simple. All right, let's do it because I want to try it. Um, I like it because it's so sort of like glossy and oh, it's, it's a little so punk pretty. rocky. I feel like you would appreciate it. Yeah. Good, it I'm into it. Let's cut it. So if you put it in the refrigerator, it will set the blueberries. It'll harden yeah. it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like it looks like your perfect ooey gooey. Yeah, yeah. no, it's a pie. pie. Oh, yeah. Wow. The corn has a really nice sort of undertone. Yeah. It's all really balanced. Yeah. Sweet and savory. It was great teamwork, guys. Thank you for everything that you shared with me today. Hey, we learned too. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.